Hello, my name is Hugh. Welcome to the Vinamon Kitchen. Today we're going to do our first Vitu Masterclass, starting with the chocolate souffle. So it's really simple, we're going to need a few things. Some milk, eggs, butter, most importantly the Vinamon souffle kit, which you can get on Vitu. For equipment, it's also pretty simple. A mixer, you can do it by hand as well. A stove, some ramekins, or coffee cups, mugs, whatever you have. A whisk, a spatula, and a pastry brush. That's it. Okay, so step one, we need to make our creme patisserie, chocolate creme patisserie. So we have our milk weighed out, cold milk. Just a pot. And our creme patisserie mix. It's important the milk's cold. If you do this while it's hot, it'll go lumpy. Make sure to mix, mix that all in until there's fully incorporated. There's no dry clumps. Okay, so we mix the creme patisserie mix with the cold milk, whisked it in, it's fully incorporated, there's no dry clumps. So now we're just going to turn it on to about a medium heat um, and continue whisking. It'll, it'll thicken pretty fast and cook out about four, four to five minutes until it's ready. Creme patisserie is ready, it's cooked out, it's been about four minutes. And this is where you're gonna strain it while it's still hot. So grab a member of your family or friend. And then this is just a strainer, a chinua, with a little ladle, we're gonna push everything through. And it's sitting on an ice bath. This is, stops the cooking really quickly so we can make our souffle straight away. So our creme pat's been passed. We're just gonna get a piece of plastic wrap and just put it on top, directly on top of the surface of it. Otherwise, you'll get a skin really quickly. So this will, this will cool down no more than five minutes and then we can make our souffle base. Step two, we're gonna prep our ramekins. So soften butter. At the start, you can be pretty generous and just go all around it, get it in there. And then use the brush and stroke up evenly around the ramekin. This helps the souffle rise in the same direction. Ramekins are buttered. Now we need to coat, coat them with chocolate. So again, it's a dark chocolate. We've already grated it for you. And then just get a ramekin, generous spoon, and then just around the same direction. Just go around, just make sure it's evenly coated, and tap out any excess that you don't need. So we need to make our meringue now. So we have our sugar, in the kit, egg whites. Egg whites go in. I'm gonna start mixing with just, just egg whites. I'll make medium speed. And then when it starts to uh, hold itself, we'll slowly start adding the sugar. So our egg whites are starting to be really light and fluffy. So we're going to stand the same speed so we get a consistent amount of air through the egg whites and we'll start adding our sugar. So in three parts. So our egg whites are there. So you can see that they're um, when they're ready, when they're nice and glossy. They're nice and stiff, but also you have really nice compact air bubbles. Another good way, Johnny, can I go over Yeah. Another good way to check is, um, is a uh, salmon. Time to make our souffle mix. So we need our chocolate creme patisserie, which is cooled and ready, our egg whites, which are ready, and our ramekins, which are lined with chocolate. So we're gonna weigh our creme pat. 
This this amounts 50 grams. Just gonna add a little of the egg white. And just whisk it in. This is just to lighten the creme patisserie remix. Otherwise, um, to make it fold evenly. If you don't, if you do it all at once, you'll have it'll be really hard to make an even mixture. So don't worry about keeping the air in this part. So now we need to fold in all our egg whites. Just with a spatula. Just be nice and gentle. Souffle mix is ready. So now we're gonna use a piping bag. But if you don't have one of these, just use like a Ziploc bag at home, cut the corner. Just fill out fill out molds. We are filling our ramekins. And this is important that we tap the mix so we get an even amount of air distribution in the ramekin. Just if there's an air pocket in the meringue, it will, it will show and it'll crack. So this part's actually very critical. And just smooth it out so it's an even top as well. We've filled our ramekins and now we just need to cut sort of a, a rim around it to, so it doesn't stick when it rises. Just with a corner of a cloth. So our souffles are ready to go into the oven. We're going to bake it at 180 degrees for six, six and a half minutes. And halfway through, we're going to turn the tray around to make sure it cooks even. Okay, so it's been three minutes. I'm gonna turn it carefully. And three more minutes. Two plays are ready. Two plays come out of the oven, six minutes. I'm gonna dust it with a little ice and sugar. And then we like to serve it with creme glazed snow, custard snow, ice cream. Two plays are ready to be served, and then you share it with. Uh, Someone you someone you enjoy.